solved by the elimination method. We have the system of equations 2 thirds x minus 4 fifths y equals 1 and 1 third x minus 2 fifths y equals 2. Now we could work with this system with the fractions in it or we could choose to clear the fractions and, and let's clear the fractions. We'll multiply each equation by the least common multiple of its denominators. So I have denominators of 3 and 5 in the first equation. The least common multiple is 15 and it's the same situation in the second equation. So let's do those multiplications. Working with the first equation, I would have 15 times 2 thirds x minus 4 fifths y equals 15 times 1. And when I carry out the multiplications on the left hand side, I have 10x minus 12y and on the right side I have 15. Now let's do the same kind of thing with the second equation. I have 15 times 1 third x minus 2 fifths y equals 15 times 2. And when I do these multiplications, I have 5x minus 6y is equal to 30. So now I have a system of two equations with no fractions in it. And this is the system, just rewritten. I want to use the elimination method, so I want to multiply one of these equations by something that will allow me to eliminate a variable. And let's multiply the second equation by negative 2 to eliminate the x terms. So I'm just going to rewrite the first equation and multiply the second equation by negative 2. So I'd have negative 10 times x plus 12y equals negative 60. And now I'll add. I have 0x and I also have 0y and that is equal to negative 45. Now this is a false statement and we know when we get a false statement that a system of equations has no solution.